What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So the holy month of Ramadan is approaching us. I'm going to be the first one to say it. We should not be worried about our physical gains, our muscles. We should not be worried about any of this. What we should be worrying about is our spiritual gains and our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to get our hearts better, not just physically, but also spiritually. We need to clean, cleanse our souls. We need to be better people. And I'll be the first one to say we should not we should not we should not be worrying about if our physical gains if we take a loss over there however i will be giving you guys tips on how to approach it so you can either maintain or continue your for your fitness journeys even though your priorities in the holy month of ramadan should be spiritual gains and then it should be physical gains then you can do whatever the hell you want, but make sure you're being a better Muslim. And if you're not even a Muslim, just become a better person. Let's all just be better together. Be better people as well as be stronger people. How are we going to go about this in the holy month? So as you guys know, I'm just going to explain it real quick for the people that do not fast, who are not Muslims, that also do watch my channel. In the holy month of Ramadan, we do not eat or drink, yes, even water from sunrise to sunset. So we do not consume a calorie or even have any sip of liquid. But those who do have medical conditions, they are excused from fasting because they need to take medicine to stay alive and stuff like that so they don't get super sick. And also if you're super sick, you know you don't fast. So it's very, very tough for those that are bulking up or even sometimes those who are cutting down to continue what they're doing. Because let's face it, if you're a person that just started working out recently and then you get hit with Ramadan, it's gonna throw off your schedule. And the best way to build good habits is by keeping it consistent on a schedule. As you guys know, I'm big on habits. I keep telling you guys, you know, build good, good habits. So if you do not work out, this is a great way to build great habits. You can use prayers, you pray right on time, build that habit up, recite the Holy Quran, build that habit up. And you can also work out build that habit up you have 30 days to build this habit and those of you who have already built this habit but do not know how you will be able to continue it because you will not be consuming food at the appropriate times that you once have what you can do to go about this is what i used to do or what i'm going to do upcoming ramadan for me it's a bit different this year because i do now have a home gym and with that said i will be working out maybe an hour after eating but what i used to do before when there wasn't COVID and all that, in two different scenarios, two different Ramadans, I did two things. One of them, I would work out an hour right before iftar time, right before breaking my fast. It was all right, it was decent. And then another one was, I would eat very little, then I'd go work out at the gym, maybe 30 minutes later. Then I'd come back home and just munch up and it was lit, like bro. And I think option number two is the best way to go. Again, if you're short on time, you know, you can still work out while fasted, but you cannot do anything as intense if you are working out while fasted. Because remember, you, you're not hydrated. You don't have water. Uh, you need to be chilling on your workouts. Like, take a step back from what you've been doing, but still do something. Because remember, a workout that happened is better than a workout that did not happen. So just relax on some of your workouts for a month if you're doing it while you're fasted. Now. If you're doing the second method, which I'm going to be doing this year myself, which I also did last year and the year before that, is that I would have a very light iftar and I would have a date, drink a lot of water, and maybe some oatmeal. I think it will, I would have oatmeal, I'm pretty sure, but that's definitely what I'm gonna do this year. Just some water because you're definitely dehydrated. Like when you wake up in the morning and you're super tired, you're dehydrated. You need a date because the Holy Prophet, you know, he would open it with a date. It's a sunnah. It also has some sugars in it, which would, which your body also needs, especially after a fast. So remember, everything that the Holy Prophet did, science is discovering now. He was ahead of the game. You have your date, you have your water, and you have some oatmeal, not too much, just so you know you can get fueled up a little bit. You work out 20, 30 minutes later, and also have a little protein shake. One scoop of protein, depends on your appetite, if you can handle it or not, how your stomach sits after that. For me, I can handle exactly what I just described, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Remember, everybody's body is different. You try what is best for you. You can give my method a try. If it doesn't work for you, it's fine. Just you know, adjust it a little bit to your needs. So now, after we eat, we go uh, 30, 40 minutes later, we work out. I hope you guys have a gym that's open that late, especially because Ramadan, if the hard time's gonna be around, like, you know, it depends, like 8, 8.30-ish, whatever. So you need to make sure that 
your gyms are open and I really do hope it is open in your case. And if it's not, you guys should still try to do something at home. Go for a walk, it's gonna be summertime. You need to get your walk in, do a cardio. I'm, I'm gonna go for walks with my parents. I'm gonna have my gym workouts, my home workouts. And I'll be sharing that with you guys and how I'm going about everything. And I'll even show you guys my iftar. It's gonna be super plain. Water here, a date there, oatmeal here, protein shake there. That's it, there's nothing special about that. After that, that's when I'm gonna have my major meal and that's where I'm gonna try to get my, most of my protein in as well because at the end of the day, we still have to meet our macronutrient goals and that is where, you know, it's tough. It's very, very tough, especially for those who are trying to gain weight over this time period and then Ramadan hits. And I remember every year I lose a lot of strength during Ramadan, but that is fine because where I lose it in physical, I gain in spiritual. So I'm never too worried when it comes around Ramadan time. So neither should you, your physical gains should be the least of your worries. We should be worried about the grave instead. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I hope I, I helped you in one way, shape or form. And I can't wait for this Ramadan and inshallah everybody has a nice, happy, blessed month. And I'll see you guys in next week's video where we will continue talking about fat loss and preparing for Ramadan.